Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. Office Bloke Daz. Collectively, we are the Office Blokes. Yep. And is this a bit of stand up from Dave Chappelle? It's Ooh. quite long, like four, it? 15 minute yeah, long reaction one. stand up. Well, yeah. we could do the whole, the whole set, but uh, it's probably about an hour, isn't it? Yeah. Comedians normally do about 45 yeah. minutes to an hour, don't they, on a set? Yeah. 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 So, yeah, fair enough. I've heard stories that people have said of Dave Chappelle doing like four hour, five hour sets, you know? Mm. Where he just goes and starts wow. riffing in a comedy club and just yeah. just goes. Wow, that's a big set. Mm. Yeah, big set. I'd love to see him for, I wouldn't survive that though. Four or five no, hours you'd be well done. Any, no any easier, apart from Tim Minchin and <laughs> people are. Like I, I think it's a four lot. Four or five minutes. I think it's a lot of developing ideas when people do stuff like that. I don't think they're absolutely mm. murdering no, for five no, hours straight. No. Yeah, because you would no, legitimately kill people mm. with that. Plenty of improv case. going on, I guess. And yeah, yeah. Test, yeah, it's a lot of testing stuff, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, true, yeah. Well, we'll get into it. Dave Chappelle, Killing Them Softly, part one. Is Killing Them Softly the name of the special? When someone's just parted yeah. it, do you think? Correct. Not sure. Yeah. Right, fair enough. Let's do it. <laughs> that HBO thing makes me think of The Sopranos every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. 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 It does, yeah. Yeah. Tune as well. Oh. historic Lincoln Theater in Washington, D.C. Dave Chappelle. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, really? Boy, y'all make it good to come home, boy, I swear. I know, man, it's been a while, it's been a while. DC is different. <laughs> I'm a god, man, it took me years to be able to do this show, boy. DC has changed. It's different now. There's a lot of white people walking around, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I left, I left D.C. in the 80s. It was, it was not like this in the 80s when crack was going on. Remember when crack was going on? Uh, white people be looking at D.C. from Virginia with binoculars and shit. <laughs> well, that looks dangerous. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> New white people. You can't scare these white people. I tried. <laughs> Roll up on him. Boo! The hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Those days are over. <laughs> I'm glad that, you know, like we're doing a show here by Howard, you know, and you see like white people come out, and that's good. One thing I'm seeing, you'll be walking down the street and you'll see like a group of black dudes walking. Not just any old black dude, we talking, you know, thugs. <laughs> Talking, you know, there'd be some thugs. And in a group, in a group, they got like one or two, sometimes as many as three white guys to be with them. You ever seen this shit? <laughs> well, let me tell you something about those white guys. Those white guys are the most dangerous motherfuckers in them groups. <laughs> well, it's true. It's true, man. It ain't no telling what they've done to get them black dudes respect. <laughs> But well, them black dudes have seen them do some wild shit, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I've been trying to tell brothers that. Every, every group of brothers should have at least one white guy in it. I'm serious, for safety. Because <laughs> when the shit goes down, somebody's gonna need to talk to the police. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't someone touch on that, that we reacted to, but it was a more, more <clears throat> recent where they were talking about phoning your white friend it wasn't cat williams was it i think he was him it, yeah it was the, the you know when you get arrested you phone your white friend they'll actually pick up right. the phone oh, yeah, yeah. it was cat williams yeah i think it was wasn't it 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. This bit was called White Friends. It was in the... Uh, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, of course. Is it Pimpin? Uh, it's it's all Pimpin, isn't it? Pimpin, 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 hey. Chronicles. Yeah, yeah Chronicles, Pimpin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right there, though. I mean, that's when that, that's when that white friend comes in handy. Uh-oh, Ernie, you want to get this one? Come on now, come on now. Do something. So black people are very afraid of the police. That is a big part of our culture. Don't matter how rich you are, how old you are. We're just afraid of them. We got, we got every reason to be afraid of them. You know what I mean? Like, you're a white lady. You ever been pulled over before? You know, and what they say, let me see your driver's license and your registration, right? See? See, I'm just guessing. <laughs> That's not what they say to us. I mean, you wouldn't believe what they say to us. <laughs> Spread your cheeks and lift your sack. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me? Spread open your cheeks and lift your sack. I got a driver's license, too. <laughs> the easier ways to prove who I am and shit. What does that prove? <laughs> I can't go to the bank like that. <laughs> Cash my check. What do you mean you don't have any ID? Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Chappelle. Right this way. <laughs> Why didn't you spread your cheeks in the beginning? <laughs> Scared of them. I'm serious, man. You ever be at a red light? The police might pull up next to you. <laughs> It won't be no big deal for you, but you know what? Well, I'll fucking fall apart. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, don't look over there. Oh, oh. <laughs> but I didn't always know that was a black thing. It took me a while to figure that out. I learned, I learned that shit in New York. I was in New York City. <laughs> now, I was hanging out with a friend of mine. He's a white guy, you know. We were just hanging out. Yeah. And we were lost in the city, you know, we were smoking a joint. Now, I don't know if it was a coincidence that we were lost and high and shit, but... <laughs> <laughs> My white buddy, he was smoking a joint. He... <gasps> Dave, Dave, it's the goddamn cops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask him for directions. <laughs> I said, Chip, no! Chip, don't do it! It was too late. He was walking over there. This man was high as shit. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Touching him and Chip. Excuse me. <laughs> Need some information. Uh, start confessing things you shouldn't confess. I'm a little high. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to know... Which way is Third Street? The cop was like, hey, take it easy. <laughs> You're on Third Street. <laughs> <laughs> you better be careful. Go ahead, move it. Move it. <laughs> and that's all that happened. That's the end of the story. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I love his, uh, his <laughs> generic white guy impression. Uh, yeah, yeah, as well. He all, uses all the Ernie stories. and Chip. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we we always had a thing called the uh, the last joint rule when I was a bit of a stoner when I was younger. No, and no. as long as you've only got one on you, you can stand next to the cops and smoke it. Because if if, if they try and get it off you or try and say anything, you just drop it on the floor, and mush it up, yeah. and there's nothing to pick up. Yeah. there's no evidence of it, and it's like I don't know what you're talking about. Cops over here don't give a shit now. I used no. to be, when they get, when they get behind me in the car when I'm driving and see a cop pull out behind me, I'm like shit. Don't know, I don't, even though yeah. I'm fully well, legal, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 there's always that. Like, yeah. Ten and two yeah. Yeah. suddenly, like, like, but now I'm like, <laughs> now I'm like taking over the cops, <laughs> <laughs> past them. You know, like, they don't give a shit. They don't want to. Yeah. I told you when I went to the police station. When, when you call me, don't phone on that phone because it'll ring and no one will answer it. Yeah, yeah. It's an inconvenience. I was yeah. like, oh, dear, great. Hey. My usual response when I see the cops is just to slow down by about 20 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> 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 They're like, <laughs> you go past me, mate. You go past me. Yeah. <laughs> I know that's not amazing to some of you, but yeah, as one of these black fellows, that shit is fucking incredible, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, a black man would never dream of talking to the police high. That's a waste of weed. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. 
I mean, I'd be scared to talk to the police when I'm sleepy. They fuck around and get the wrong idea. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that nigga was on PCP, Johnson. <laughs> I had to use necessary force. You saw him. No, no, no paperwork. Just, just sprinkle some crack on him. Let's get out of here. <laughs> That's how it is. But at the time, I didn't think there was anything racial about it. I was just like, man, Chip, you got fucking lucky. You better be careful. But then another time, me and Chip are driving. Now, I'm not driving. Chip is driving, and he's driving a little crazy. He's been drinking. Now, I don't like to let my friends drive drunk, but, you know, I was smoking a joint. I couldn't really say shit to the guy. <laughs> And we get at a red light. We stop at a red light. And a car pulls up next to us. And I'll never forget it. Chippy looks at me, he's all drunk, and she's like, Dave, <laughs> I'm gonna race him. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was a bad idea, but I was high. I tried to explain to him it was a bad idea, but all that came out was, well, nigga, sometimes you gotta race, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that light turned green and Chip took off. Zigzagging and shit so no one could pass. And the other car didn't even know he was racing. <laughs> <laughs> then the police seen us and pulled us over. Now you understand, I'm scared as shit. I mean, come on, the car smells like weed. I've been speeding, this man is fucking drunk. I was scared. Chip was not scared at all. It was weird, he didn't even turn his radio down. Isn't that weird a little bit? I mean, if you get pulled over, wouldn't you turn your radio down? Nobody wanna get their ass beat to a soundtrack and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chip had the music blasting, we're not gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Dave, just relax. <gasps> Close your butt cheeks. <laughs> Let me do the talking. <laughs> you wanna know what he said? This is almost exactly what he said. I, I couldn't believe it. He says, Oh, oh. Sorry, officer, I I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking shocked. <laughs> The cop said, well, now you know. Just get out of here. Just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Chip said, okay, I'll, I will, sir. Thank you. What? What's wrong with you, Dave? <laughs> I didn't know I couldn't do that. <laughs> he said, that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> Because I did know I couldn't do that. <laughs> I was shocked. I wasn't shocked at the audacity. I was just shocked because I would have never thought to say that. I don't think any black dude would think to say that because they know we know the law. <laughs> Every black dude in this room is a qualified paralegal and shit. He knows the law. <laughs> I mean, if one of us even start to do something wrong, an old black man would pop out of nowhere. Nigga, don't do that. That's five to ten. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. <sighs> well, we know the laws and the penalties. Guy Chip didn't even know he couldn't race. I'm not saying I don't like police. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I'm just scared of them. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we want to call them too. Somebody broke into my house once. It's a good time to call them, but I don't know. The house is too nice. It ain't a real nice house, but they never believe I lived it. Be, oh, he's still here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Open and shut case, Johnson. <laughs> I saw this once before when I was a rookie. <laughs> Apparently this nigger broke in and hung up pictures of his family everywhere. 
Well, let's sprinkle some crack on them and get out of here. <laughs> oh, you know, should definitely do a game where we drink every time he mentions crack. Yeah. <laughs> He'd be hammered by the end oh, of the Oh, just a bit, yeah, by the end of the first set, I think. Yeah. Well, that's that whole brutality thing. It's, see, that's common knowledge now. There was a time when only minorities really knew about that. I'm not going to say white people didn't believe us, but you were a little skeptical. You were a little skeptical. I mean, I don't blame you. And then Newsweek printed it, he knew it was the truth. And then the Newsweek white people were like, oh my God. <laughs> Honey, did you see this? Apparently, the police have been beating up Negroes like hotcakes. <laughs> it's in the May issue. I mean, really, how could you know, though? How could anyone else know? You know, I mean, you, maybe you should have seen something a little suspicious. Oh, don't you think it was like a little suspicious? Just a little suspicious? Hey, every dead black person the police find has crack sprinkled on them. <laughs> Come on, man. Who gets shot and sprinkles crack on themselves? Nobody would do that. <laughs> Bam! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave no mysteries. But I'm a paranoid guy, you know, that's how I am. I am, I'd be scared to call 911 for anything, even if it's like a fire or anything. Cause they take those phone calls. I see the shows, they tape them, and then they play them on television. That's fucked up. <laughs> now I'll say anything if I'm scared, that shit is private, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've never even thought of it like that. We've even reacted to police yeah, we have, phone yeah. calls, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. You'd think something like that would be so private, but it's really not, is yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, you would really. It just never yeah. twigged until you said it that you know you're at your most vulnerable phone in the police because uh, you're scared and you could end up on a TV <laughs> show. Or... Yeah. yeah, I never thought of it. Yeah, no, never occurred to me. What if I get killed? I start playing that 911 tape on the news. I'm dead. I can't explain myself to my buddies and shit. We be watching the news. We have Reg Chapman on the scene. Reg, what's going on out there? Oh, it takes a guy on the scene a minute. Hi, Bob. <laughs> Hi, yes, we just got hold of a copy of Dave Chappelle's Frantic. 911 emergency call. Remember, viewers, some of this language is disturbing. <laughs> Hello, emergency. Help! <laughs> Help, motherfucker, they're coming to get me! <laughs> Just calm down, sir, where are you? Oh, oh I shit on myself. <laughs> I can't stop crying. <laughs> they play that shit 30, 40 times a day. <laughs> All my buddies will be at my funeral looking at me. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, brilliant. Yeah. We'll have to do the oh, other one, part two. Definitely. definitely. Yeah, brilliant. He really is the, the high end comedy. Yeah, absolutely. His voices, bloke. his accent, everything about him. Yeah, his, his, his white bloke accents are really good, aren't they? His name's the voices. Used, the names, used the names, well. yeah. yeah. What was that last one? Um, there was Bob, wasn't there? Brad, Brad Chapman or something. Reg Chapman. Reg. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's just, it's subtle, isn't it? Do you think he's tweaked, like, the white guy names in the story like when he's been working it out it's been a bob and then he's tried a dave or he's tried a you know try yeah, a I'm sure. yeah, 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 yeah certain yeah. names just hit the audience definitely yeah. there's certain generic ones in that you probably use and pick up on so like Derek. Uh, yeah <laughs> Derek, yeah oh i just sprang to <laughs> yeah legend isn't he? Oh, oh, like that, yeah. absolutely brilliant yeah. yeah hope you guys enjoyed it too don't forget like and subscribe please hit the bell and we'll catch you on the next one cheers, cheers. guys